podcast to It's Sarah, Our Stitching Kingdom. Welcome back. It is Friday, June 21st. Um, happy first day of summer. Happy solstice to those who celebrate. Um, it's also is an international yoga day, which is super fun. Um, it's also, let's see here, what else was today? I'm just excited that it's supposedly summer, except for this morning in Utah, when um, Izzy and I were going to a bungee class, it was 53 degrees outside in June. So it was like, um, it's June, it shouldn't be like this. Um, I'd like to welcome you all back. I'd like to welcome any new subscribers, any um, veterans who've been here for a while. I appreciate you, appreciate your comments. Um, I try to reply to the comments, and if I don't, um, I, I always give it a like or a, a, a like and a heart. So I really appreciate it. I really like talking with you guys and learning more about you. Um, we're going to hop into some stitching. Um, there is some excitement brewing October 17th through the 19th. Snug Harbor Cross is doing a retreat here in Utah. It's going to be in Farmington. I'm going to link their video down below and I'm also going to link their Google form. Um, they're just trying to get a feel of how many people would be able to attend. They're not asking for money right now. Um, they just want to make sure that if they do do this, that there will be enough interest. And that's, you know, that's the biggest thing is they don't want to, you know, do all this work and, you know, only have a couple people show up, which is totally understandable. But, you know, it'd still be fun. Stitching is stitching and it would be a lot of fun. Um, so really quick um there's also on my, two videos ago on my 30th floss tube we have a giveaway going it's going until the 30th of june so you only have about nine more days um to get your entry in on number 30 on video 30 and it's just what do you like about summer i'm doing a i was at 300 subscribers and i was also my 30th video so i'm doing a 30 dollars gift card to one two three stitch so super fun um and I was just super excited and happy we're here and let's get into the stitching. Um, first off, you know, we gotta love our, <laughs> gotta love magical stitches. It's what keeps me going. It's what helps me um, focus on things and I'm really enjoying it. Um, excuse me. I'm gonna sneeze. <laughs> oh, excuse me. Sorry about that. Bless me. Um, so, what I have worked on last week's homework, um, I finished that and I also finished um, a couple of extra credits um, for our May and June extra credit. We're doing Goblet of Fire. I still need to watch the movie, um, but that's easy to do. And so what I worked on is a couple different things last week. Um, from Thursday, I worked on Blue Moroccan Lace Mandala and I got much further. I'm really enjoying this piece. It was hard to put it away for a little bit. And this is in a Garon Toten bag. They're really nice because they hold an 11 by 17 Q-snap. Let me, oops. And all the fun things. And I have it loose right now just so that a little bit so you guys can see. But that's what it's looking like right now. I love this. So if you remember last week or last time I told you I had stitched this border out here that's actually this is in, inside that other border. So I had stitched all that, realized that I'd made a mistake, ripped it out, and so I focused on, which I should have done in the first place, I focused on these smaller motifs and then am going out to those bigger motifs. So that's actually where I'm starting is I'm going to be starting on that motif that I had to rip out earlier. Um, I'm starting it actually over here. And this is a needle minder from Abby Top Dot Stitcher. Super fun. Um, but yeah, this is Blue Moroccan Lace by Chatelaine. I got the kit from European Cross Stitch. It's on whatever the called for is. It was just all, all in the kit. So in this one, it was really interesting because it does not use, um, D there's no DMC in this one at all. It's all, um, either Petite Treasure Braid, Petite Pearl, um, Petite, um, 
petite silk pearl, which was kind of weird to use for the dinky dyes, but it's, a, it was, it's, it's an interesting fiber because it's kind of springy. Let me find it here. I hadn't worked with it before and it lays really interesting. Um, and I was on the Chatelaine support group and was, somebody was talking about the princess pearl from Gloriana and how it's a little, a little wonky, but I don't know if it's going to focus, but it's super smooth, but yeah, it's kind of weird. It doesn't let, want to lay flat all the time. So I might use a little bit of water. I don't know, maybe some thread conditioner. So super fun. Loved working on that. So I did, that was for my extra credit for something in a maze and my imperious curse, um, Saturday. And it's also my, um, we had to stitch because it's a mandala. So it's, um, geometric and they're geometric shapes in mazes. And then, um, we also had to stitch on something in the, something that spelled the word goblet. So G O B L E T. And so that's blue Moroccan lace. So I stitched on that. And so that got 500 stitches on, oh, I need to finish my 500 stitches on that. So I'll be working on that one for more. Um, and then on flag day on Friday, I worked on lady of the flag and she's coming along swimmingly. She actually got a little bit more love this week than she usually does because on this week's challenge, this week's homework, I did a little bit of an oopsie on when I cut some fabric. And so I had to hurry and scramble to find some more red. Just taking my working copy off of there. And this is Mirabilia's Lady of the Flag. Got to move the Q-snap. So this is, these are roses. This is gonna be her hand right here. I'm gonna do her skin last. I'm gonna, cause it's gonna be one over one. And then this is the flag and this is the staff and this is some of more of her dress and then there's going to be more flag this way um let me find the picture here so super excited to work on her like i said she got lots more love this week than she normally would have because of my error so i gotta love that it's like oh stitching swim stitching along minding my own business and then yeah, I was not happy. I wanted to just cry. And actually, I'll bring that up in one moment because that brings us into, segues us into homework. Um, I did do, we had to do some red. So I finished my, my red stitches up on her. Um, so today, for this week's homework, we had to do um, stitches on each of the five elements. And also, um, they're also representative of the five houses and unity. So we had to do 200 stitches each on something that was yellow. It also, also represented air. You could do things that represented air for Hufflepuff. Um, water or blue for Ravenclaw. And then earth or green for Gryffindor or for Slytherin. Fire or red for Gryffindor. And then wood, um, which is brown, which unifies everything together, which I thought was really cool. So for my red, I was like, oh yeah, I've got my drums, my hands-on design Kathy Haberman drums. And I've got Liberty of Wells, which, you know, has, you know, lots of red in it because it's got a flag. So I got my Liberty of Dwells out. And got this far on stitching it and realized that the pattern comes out for another, oh, two inches or so. So there's no salvaging it. There's no, just no fixing it. And I was sick to my stomach. I was crying. I was, you know, not happy. Thought I'd cut it fine. And thought to myself, self, you cut all of those out of the same piece of fabric. You better check. And yeah. So out of the six drum designs, I had to, re I'm having to recut one, two, three, four. I wanted to cry. 
I was just like, I was so mad and so frustrated. And my husband was just like, I'm sorry, you know, trying to like, <laughs> she's going to explode. But luckily, the two that I've done the most work on, besides like, where Liberty dwells, Hear the Bells and, um, and Oh Say Can You See, I've got plenty of fabric. So in my haul, I will show you what color I'm switching it to. <laughs> um, so did red on this one and Lady of the Flag and then yellow. I also did Lady of the Flag, did more of her yellow on there. So I'm not going to pull her back out. And then green, I was able to stitch on Armada Designs. This is her tiny Halloween cell which was super fun and we needed to stitch on green and there is a whole bunch of green in the graveyard right here. So I got almost all, I got all the dark green done and I was just filling in with the light green. So that'll be really fun. I'm really excited about that. Um, so got more done on that guy. And then I've also worked on my Eagle by Sue Coleman. And this is for a friend's um, grandson. So I was able to do this for brown. Um, this is what the full picture will look like when it's completed. And then this is where I'm at on that. Needleminder is from Armada Designs. And I'm running out of battery, so I might have to splice these things together. But I, the page finish, the page is down here. The finish page is down here, so I've only got a little bit more to do on this. So super excited to get that finished and done. Um, it's it's a work in progress. It'll be a while. I also did brown for Saturn in um, Cheryl McKinney's Daily Thirty group. Um, it's a closed group. Um, I'm starting to get more active in it. Um, <laughs> and then I also did my daily 30 stitch, my free stitch. Um, I could do 300 stitches on whatever I want. Chose the Eagle. Um, did a extra credit with the Eagle. So he also got um, 500 extra stitches. So he got about, all told about 700 stitches because I used 300 of those stitches to work count for the daily 30. Um, so with those projects done, I got out my next... Um, extra credit is something with words on it and that is my Millennium Sampler because there's a whole lot of words on this thing and you don't have to stitch on the words it just has to have words and so that's where this is I was able to finish the railroad and then Sunday I actually worked on it a little bit I finished the United Nations and I'm working on the discovery of the new world and then we'll move to the Civil War and then we'll move to the Model T Ford and then we've got the Wright Flyer, Native Peoples, Boston Tea Party, Magna Carta, the shuttle and then there's some more work there's some more names on the inside on this part right here this yellow and then there's some more back stitching up at the top so really excited how how far this is coming um, and just, I, I like seeing the progress on it. So that's really nice. Um, plans. I don't, you know, work magical stitches, homework, obviously, um, working on that. And, oh, my gold has decided to be naughty. Um, so we'll work on that. Do magical stitches. Um, doing more on the daily 30 and then also in my plans I'm going to um, start stitching on the new sal that's being released on the 30th of July or the 1st of July and that is um, the new tidy modernist so I'll kind of transition into that um, with my happy mail and stuff so this is the tiny modernist um, Sleepy Hollow. The border's out right now, and then it'll be released, and it's only like $24 for the full thing. And the first pattern will be released on the 1st of July, and these 
patterns, you can either do it like this as one big thing, or Michelle Bendy is stitching them as drums. She's doing, she's the model stitcher for the drums. So, and the drums are done either on, you can choose to do it on one color, she's doing them on four different colors, which is what I wanted to do. And then, um, was talking with her, I'm talking with Michelle and saying, hey, you know, what should I do? I can only, you know, cause I was being impatient. So I only wanted to order my fabric from, you know, one source and didn't want to wait. And <laughs> so ordered from one, two, three stitch. These are the weeks or the gentle arts colors as long as, as well as the DMC, um, orange marmalade lagoon and purple iris. I really like those colors. They're going to be really fun. And then this is a number eight Krennic which is a, it's pearl braid, and I like working with that actually. So, so um, it's all done on 36 count, I believe, but I was talking with Michelle and I was like, so I'm thinking of doing one, you know, like two drums this size and two drums this size. And she's like, well, you should do, throw these other ones in the mix and make them really stacked. They have a little, make a little triangle type, type thing. So I did. <laughs> um, the first one I'm gonna do is on this 40 count Oaken by Picture This Plus. And then I'm going to do the second one on the feldspar, on a 36 feldspar, if I picture this plus. My son is dying outside. And then the third one is done on ancient, that's a 32 count. And then the last one is done on cauldron, and this is a 28 count, and I love the modeling in this piece it is so cool. There's like this really cool rusty spot right there. So that's what I'm going to start that on. I'm super excited. Um, also got some fabric for, this is the Tiny Modernist Spring Style. This is confetti in a 14 count. So I'm just going to do that. It's sitting in my inbox, just waiting to be printed and started. So <laughs> super excited for that. Um, and then I'm also going to restart those four that I need to do. And I just picked out another 32 count linen that kind of looked like it. I wasn't sure, you know, it was just like, eh. So two are going to be on one and then the rest are going to be on this 32 count um, Winter's Brew by r and Super excited. So I have two pieces. One's a 13 by 27, or sorry, one's a 13 by 17 and one's a 17 by 27. So I will have plenty of fabric to recut my my oopsies. Um, let's see. Oh, I also got an order. Um, I ordered my uh, Scary Apothecary, the next three. Um, ordered those from Threads and Twine. And I got a bean sprout. And then I also got, and so this is Cackle Lozenges. Super cute. Cauldron Cleaner. and coffin paint. So I love the after lifetime warranty. Um, and the cauldron cleaner has enhanced spell check and those cats are just super fun. I love them. They're super cute. Um, so that's also fun. I have a couple of more packages coming. I had, I, um, bought some stuff from Starlight Stitchery when they did, when Michelle and Audrey um, Stitchy Witch 42 did the live sale down there at Starlet Stitchery, so that was super fun. Um, bought a few things there, so just waiting for that to come in. I paid that today. Um, my Color and Cotton mini Patriotic box is coming. Um, the birthday, Liz's birthday bash from Stitchy box is coming. Um, and I'm going to order my Floss Club from Julie, and that is that live up on her website right now. I'll link her shop below as well. Um, but I think that's it. Um, Snug Harbor Retreat, uh, Snug Harbor Crafts Retreat, remember it is going to be um, the 17th through the 19th of October. Um, it'll be here in Farmington, Utah. And um, I will link their video below. I will also link their Google form below um, just for their, you know, so you can sign up if you're interested. It's not, like I said, no money right now. Um, I hope you all have a great week and have a wonderful stitching time. Happy first day of summer. So you get lots more time to stitch because it's not going to be dark as long <laughs> or it's going to be brighter longer. So have a wonderful day and we'll talk to you later. Love you. Bye.